Hey everyone, happy new year. Welcome back to the next showcase. My name is Nate, and this series is all about giving you insights on how customers are using our platform based on the work our onboarding team has done this past week. Today's episode is gonna be the start of a marketing showcase series. Today, we'll look at how marketing agencies and teams are using Smart Suite to get client approval or internal approval for their projects, tasks, work requests, and plans. Let's dive right in. We're back on our homepage. Remember, if you wanna start with the template I'm showing off today, you can go to our solution template library, go to the showcase section and download this agency marketing showcase that I'm looking at today. If I open up the solution, we have six apps at the top. Today, we're gonna to be showing the perspective of a client or some internal member that's not on your marketing team that's looking at the deliverables, the projects, tasks that have been completed and approving them. We'll start first by inviting the client to your workspace. If we go to member directory, we can invite the guest, we can pick the guest role, pick a member type and assign them to a team if we need to. Before you send the invite, you also can control the permissions to give them access to solutions inside your workspace. Let's say we wanted to give them access to this agency marketing showcase solution we're looking at today. We can click on the action menu, go to permissions, invite the member and add them. The role in this situation doesn't matter because the guests are assigned a role by default, which means they'll only see the records assigned to them. If we go back to the solution, there are a couple apps that we don't necessarily need the client to see. For example, the clients and the contacts. We can override solution permissions here by going to the permissions dropdown and going here, saving it to remove access from the clients. Once again, for contacts, the next step is gonna be using an assign to field to assign records to the client for them to review. I've created a client reviewer assigned to field here, where we're gonna go ahead and pick the guest, in this case, my other account, we're going to send them to some production tasks here, and then we're going to go over to, to plans and do the same thing with the client review for each of the plans. Let's go ahead and jump over to the client access to show you what it looks like on their end. So after the client has accepted their guest access to your workspace, they'll be brought to the home page where they can see all the solutions they have been given access to. We're looking today at the agency marketing showcase. And as you can see, we only have access to the apps that we've been giving permission to, that the clients and contacts are clearly not shown. And we're only right now seeing records that we've been assigned to as a client reviewer. From here, we can open up the plans that the marketing team has curated for them, look at all the information in a read-only state. From here, we can look at the description, look at the goals, and if we're happy with it, we can make comments. Matt mentioned the marketing team directly inside of here to make necessary updates if needed. We can also assign this to them and they'll show up in the marketing teams in my work section. Clients or in other internal reviewers can not only view the projects they're being worked on, but they can also comment on the records of information to give approval back to that marketing team. They can also export the information. They can receive notifications when they've been assigned to new records. They also have the my work section, which allows them to see records assigned to them. As you can see, the status has changed to ready for client approval. Maybe the marketing team is waiting on the client for approval or in a comments proving this production task so it can move to complete. The client guest can also see the activity history to see of any updates of a particular record. And then they can also follow the record to be notified when things change inside of this record. For example, if the client left a comment saying, please update these three things, the, the relevant party could make those changes change the status back, it would notify the client to take a look again. Your clients can also favorite views. So if you create views specifically for them, for example, this is filtering where the status is ready for client approval. They can add it to the start items. So when they click on this start items button up here, it'll show all the favorited views and solutions that they're going to be working in a lot. Your client can also use the power search button to go to the recently accessed views solutions. And they can also search for anything inside of this workspace in case there are multiple processes that they've been given access to. Our permissions paired with guest access allows for a great solution for clients and internal reviewers to look at the marketing plans, tasks, projects, and work requests that are relevant to them. And you don't have to worry about paying for them as another seat in your workspace. And that wraps up this SmartSpeed showcase. Hopefully you learned a thing or two about permissions, guest access, and how marketing teams are using SmartSuite to gain client approval. If you're in marketing and looking to use SmartSuite, stay tuned to the next showcase videos because those are going to be highlighting the ways you can use our platform. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.